Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Ells Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the 1-3-1 zone full court press defense. This is a fantastic press. I've got a few little tweaks that many other coaches don't do so make sure to stay tuned. This is not a sponsored video but I just really like Wilson Evolution Basketball so make sure to check out the link down below if you want to purchase yourself one of these because believe me it has grip check that out i love this basketball so how i like to run this press i like to have three players who are a foot past the half court line i like to have player five who's sort of hovering roughly around the point on our end we're defending this end of the court and i like to have player one up front full court pressuring and then what he is looking to do, and what we we are looking to do, is to pressure the ball to go towards the sideline. Now the reason why uh, I'm not running these players a little bit further ahead and having player 5 at half court is because this baits the other team into thinking that we're only going to be slightly pressuring them. So by only having one player up front, that's how we're able to do it. I'm going to have two of my bigger players along the sidelines, our biggest player along or at the back, and our fastest player in the middle. If our fastest player is up front, that's okay, but we're going to be wearing him out a lot while having our fastest player in the middle what we're hoping for there is for player two to pick off any passes going to mid court so what we're looking to do let me get some offense onto the court so a basic press break is going to have three players up front and we're going to be most likely having player one getting that ball and player three is going to be moving towards the middle we're going to be having player one he is not going to be playing player one blue straight up we want him to be a little bit off not right on him again to softly bait them into thinking that we're running a soft press now we're gonna be having player one directing player one blue towards that sideline but very softly because what we want is for them to get past that free throw line as soon as we get them past that free throw line we're going to be really hard on player one meanwhile we have player two in the middle he's going to be sagging down just a bit and player four is going to be sagging down just a bit as well again to block any mid-court passes so that they have to or at least we're forcing them to either go right towards the sideline or for them to pass all the way back to player three we do not want anything going up the middle now if they are to reverse player three is obviously going to try and attack the middle we're going to have player one cutting that off or if player three is really quick we want player two to cut that off and player one to fill in this middle section now we have player two up front forcing towards the sidelines now if they pass and as you can see now we have our side players a bit higher if the other team has players trying to attack the middle we have player one there so we don't have to worry about having the middle being attacked we now have player five guarding both of these players so basically these wing players have to really watch player three and even though they're a little bit higher now at the half court line we need them to jump back as quick as possible if player three is trying to do a pass over half court so now we have essentially clogged up that whole middle and we're forcing towards the sideline so now player two he has gotten that ball or if they've just dribbled over towards the sideline one or the other we now have player five guarding that side we have player three moving down so now we're cutting off any cross court passes and any passes over towards that side and we also have player two he is moving over to now force player two blue over towards that corner 
I know there's a lot of coaches who like to trap in these areas along the sideline. However, the issue with those spots, and I seen it the other day in a junior NBA game that was televised because of the All-Star game, the team had a player trapped along the sideline, and he passed out behind him to a player. And now, because we have two players on one towards that sideline, it's now two players against one. So what's going to happen? Player three is going to attack player one. Player three is going to pass over to player one. And now they've beaten that trap. And now it's a three on two situation. And I don't like to have that. That is something I do not like. So I want my players trapping in these spots and the reason why is because now they cannot pass back behind them obviously they cannot go out of bounds and obviously now they have nowhere they can go so we now have player five he is moving in guarding this spot player three is moving in to guard this area and player one is guarding this area and if it's done successfully then you should be able to have this 100% trapped and they will not be able to get out of it. And so that is how I run the full court 131 press defense. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense. I had a coach message me the other day saying that an opposing team only scored two points on them in a whole quarter while using my defense. So definitely go check that out. Go check out the link for a Wilson Evolution if you haven't already purchased one because believe me, fantastic fantastic basketball and this is not even a sponsored video i bought it today and i absolutely love it so go check it out